Good fire steel, guys. It's gonna come with a heck of a coating on it. So uh, you gotta really, really get that off and how I got that off easier so I could use my knife, you know, easy to strike it and not uh, washboard it too much. It's by using the awl on the Leatherman uh, Super Tool 300. You can take that, bear in it on a little bit, get the coating off and it digs down in and gets into that real good mesh stuff that lights better. Because the first little bit of coating on uh, fire steel guys isn't the best stuff. It's stuff that you get inside. That's when you're going to get your big sparks. So, fun to share that with you. Pretty awesome uh, fire steel. So, will do large uh, fire flash. And uh, they have a uh, will do uh, small fire flash. So, you want to make sure you get the large if you want the large. And uh, before you say it, uh, this I don't think this is a copy off of the Army fire steel. Uh, 2.0 I believe this is <laughs> they copied off of this one because they've been around longer uh, will do uh, As a whole has been around longer and this is the one that the Swedish army actually uses so anyway guys I just want to add that I spook here and uh, I'm just out guys you guys sort of seen at the beginning the uh, Will do fire flash. This is the uh, large um, They have a small um, if you want the large one. This is the one that I like uh, it's bigger <coughs> bigger than uh, a lot of the other fire steels on the market and it works very very well um took a while to get the coating off as you can see what i, I told you i used the all on the super tool uh, 300 to get the coating off of there but now she works like a charm um it comes with this little fire flash striker now i'm not a fan of these guys and it's nothing no knock on will do at all because you do need, you know, if you just bought this up by itself, you're going to need something to strike your sparks with, okay? Um, to me, I'm, I'm more, you know, the back of my knife, 90 degree spine. Um, because I find over time, these strikers here like to dig in. And they'll washboard your ferrocene rod. And you're going to get less strikes out of it. Um, as it is, this one said it had 12,000 strikes. So that's very, very good. But uh, if you over and over used uh, the striker, I think you'd have trouble with that. Now, that's not to say if you just got a purpose purpose thing like that. See, with us, like people like us, we like using our repair steam rods, messing around to get fires and just to, you know, to try different tenders. If you're somebody that just got it, you threw it in the pack and you go mountaineering or, you know, you're a canoer or something like that, you know, you'll probably be fine with just having the striker. So it works. But it's just not something that I'm going to use very much. So I'll probably take this off this rig and uh, turn around here. I guess it goes this way. There you go. Should throw some good sparks. Well, like I said, I would probably rather just use my knife. And that's what I'll be doing. Privateer. And another disclaimer, guys, like I said before, uh, if you're watching this, uh, you're going to get a new knife from Triple X. You're not actually getting this Privateer. You're going to get a brand new one with a new sheath and everything else. I don't know if people knew that. I think people, a uh, few people might have thought that they were getting this knife. Um, Derek's going to give you a brand new knife. So you can start fresh with your own knife. This one here is named John Paul Jones after the famous Privateer. So this one stays with Spook. But this thing throw some immaculate sparks just gonna get it on the right angle there you go i don't know if you can see them that well guys but it throws really well and uh i just really like this this is a very very good steel and uh there you go i use the end of the knife with this one and that's another thing guys and this thing is throwing hell of sparks if you sometimes on a knife there's different parts of the knife that are your sweet spot 
on my privateer i like it right at the top here on a different steel i have it's at the back so you just got to kind of find that too if you're going along and it's not working the way you think try a different part of your knife um, so i'm going to show you the rig that i have this on and that's what i call the ray mirror style rig and if you recognize the steel guys i think you would actually see this in a couple of ray mirrors videos these uh will do because the swedish military does use them and uh, they're very good so i'm going to show you like the sort of ray mirrors rig that i have on this is on my belt hope you can see that just unclips off of your belt you get this little leather throng here and that buckles over your belt like so and then that goes over your belt okay well this one's all hammered i've used this an awful lot I'll probably get, get another one but uh for now it's working fine and uh what i've got here as uh, like i said this is the rope that came with it with the striker this will probably come off for my rig but i've got it on one of these things here where you can just press it down and then the whole thing will come off you know what i mean you use your fire steel and then that goes right back in your pocket and um, once i once I take this off guys, I will, uh, it won't be so long either because right now it's quite long about this big thing. I'm actually going to take the uh, rope piece off and uh, repurpose that for something else and just put a metal ring through the fire steel itself and connect it right to the, uh, this thing here. I don't know what these are called. It's just a thing that comes off like that. So uh, that'll be a different thing. So that's the Swedish, uh, that's the fire steel. You're going to see this a lot more in videos, guys. I really like this one. This works very well. It's nice and thick. You're going to get a ton of sparks out of this thing, and you're going to have fun doing it. So very, very cool. These are inexpensive. As I say, check out Will, uh, WildoUSA.com, ProForceEquipment.com. Uh, has them too. They're the same idea. It's a American, or North American distributor. Just a very, very good fire steel. So we're going to put that away for a minute now, guys. And uh, I'm going to show you a little quick thing here. Um, I showed the uh, some of the Campo box uh, stuff and all that, but I didn't show you the fold the cup, how they work. Uh, if you've seen my other videos, you wouldn't have seen it. But uh, here's my small one that I, that I carry. And like I said, you just pull up on the handle here. And then it pops out, okay? Well, that's the very same for the large one. It's a large uh, fold the cup. Same idea pull up this one's brand new so i mean after a while they do break in better and you can pull them out easier i do know that because mine was stiff when i first started using it and now it comes out really easy so that pulls out and then boom you've got this big cup and you know compared to the small one there is quite a difference so if you're going in you know modular wise you fit that right in that and uh, if you're going for something a little bigger you could use for a bowl and everything else uh, this is the large fold of cup this is uh, sort of the, just the normal fold of cup. I don't think they should call it a small. I think you could call it a small, but uh, it's just smaller. One thing, guys, these don't have a hole through the handle here. I took an all on my uh, Leatherman tool and put a hole in this one and ran a cord so I could sling it on my backpack. I may do this with this. I may not because this goes into the Campa box, so I may not even have to. So those are the two fold of cups. And the one I was using yesterday, which I'm using today, is the Casa mug very very nice mug and uh, works very well cheers so there you go guys that was just a couple things i wanted to finish up and this is spook signing out keep your stick on the ice check out some of this wildo uh, usa.com stuff guys this stuff is super well made and you're going to see it in a lot more videos because i tend to carry it uh, every day now so take her easy stay safe enter my giveaway and uh good luck take her easy guys